and sort of pacifist nature of Civ 4 AI. So that just once in a blue moon somebody will declare war on somebody, but overall the it's peace is the status quo. I just don't think that's uh, particularly realistic or interesting. So I'm not concerned as you can probably tell, I'm more concerned with trying to get a colony into that site there. That'd be a beautiful site for a colony. Uh, Morgan Biochemical. Well, that's about as pleasant as it sounds. Oh, nice work. Uh, maybe we should start always meeting. More colony pots? Uh, and a sea former. And that's going to wait there for that to catch up. So this is going to take ages through the fungus. And of course, if, in, if any mine worms attack, they'll be completely vulnerable. Sorry again, I can't think of anything that's particularly interesting that's happening at the moment. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, music. Should I put some on? Uh, next video, of course. I've got to wait for your responses from all three of you. Yeah, I've been looking at my uh, my statistics for these videos, and um, yeah, I need, me, need more people to watch them. By the time, after you get over uh, about 300 views, the statistics get really interesting. But even the first one, which has been on for a couple of weeks now, has only got 76 views, I believe. And that's enough to tell you where people are coming from. But nothing like demographics or trends or who keeps on watching up to what point. Yeah, they're really interesting stuff. Um, so yeah, just keep on watching so I can have a mosey on and see where you're from. And that, that sounds dodgy, that does. Not see where you're from. Um, see what the general trends are. Um, yeah, apparently I've somebody's been watching in Argentina. Just just for the one episode, and then just episode two, I think it was, and then just stop watching. Might have made more sense if you started episode one, but never mind. A couple of people from the US, somebody from Poland, and um, got a hit in Finland as well. This is interesting stuff. I wish I'd started videos ages ago. This is fascinating. I think. I've maybe just got too much time on my hands. And again, I think I've already come to that conclusion by the fact I'm making videos of myself playing games. They're ridiculous. Kelp, kelp. Forest. Prevalence of anoxic environments mm. rich in organic material combined with the presence of nitrate of compounds has led to an astonishing variety of underground organisms which live in the absence of oxygen and breathe nitrate. Likewise, the scarcity of carbon in the environment has forced plants to economize on its use. Thus, all our efforts to return carbon to the biosphere will encourage the native life to proliferate. Conversely, the huge quantities of nitrate in the soil will be heaven to human farms. Lady Deidre Sky, the early years. So there you go, this is, a, uh, this is the explanation for why there's suddenly so much uh, mindworm activity and later on why fungus just pops out of the ground for no reason. Because of our breathing out carbon dioxide, this, um, this biosphere that's been created to live in an, an environment without carbon dioxide is suddenly given a huge quantity of it and just explodes with growth. Um, so yeah, our fault. Oh, mineral re restrictions are lifted. We can produce more than three mineral minerals per square. Ah, but here you cry. I can hear you crying right from here. Morgan and Streets have got seven there. Well, that's because that's a special bonus resource. So, but if I was to build a thermal borehole before I got that tech, it would be limited to two. Um, two minerals. Some of the, these mines are limited to two minerals. Or were. Now they've gone up to their full four. 
just need to take advantage of it now. Um, that looks prosperous. Another one to help out with. If you go over there. Proper care and education for our children remains oh, I have to listen to her. Our entire colonization effort. Children not only shape our future, they determine in many ways our present. Men and women work harder knowing their children are safe and close at hand. And never forget that with children present. Parents will defend their home to the death. Ooh. So there you go, there's the, um, what's this future society exploiting the uh, parental bond with children to make them work harder and fight to the death? Uh, what a pleasant future we've got to look forward to. Uh, what are we doing now? We'll build a supply crawl and get some more minerals from somewhere. Uh, we do something similar. So that now I'm going to start shooting ahead because this is I think this is this is how the game they wanted the game to be played. It's just they didn't program the AI to do something similar. So you see I moved him from there back to there. And he can collect those four minerals that now appear there. But I can't work that tile. Which seems fair enough. So he's essentially getting a free um, nutrient in the mineral. So, who's, I can't complain. And many veteran players that have been watching up to this point, I don't know, there might have been one. Hello, if you're there. Uh, I, I just turn off in disgust now. This, uh, could it be considered a gamey tactic? I don't say, I don't say, I don't think so, because it's all built into the game and it's part of the game mechanics. Maybe worrying too much about this now, I'll just do my own damn thing. There's Morgan Bank, uh, with the, where the glittering gambling halls are, according to Pravin Lal. And he should know. I'm not quite sure what I mean by that. We're almost there. You're definitely lined for a couple of supply crawlers. Production complete. Um, Maximum population reached. That's right, another one. So he'll go over there, pick up four minerals, and they're there. So the next one will only take five turns to build. And it's a great way to just speed things up a bit. And. Uh, Ugh. I don't know where it is because it's hiding in the fungus. Oh, and it's going to land mind worms. Or worse, much worse, just a spore launch from board. That spore launch is now just going to fire on the shore repeatedly, driving me slowly insane. So, I'll build one of them. Request Far best use than paying uh, money than paying it to. Um, Colonel Santiago. I mean, what do you do? Does she think I am giving money away? Yeah, there's another one there as well. All right, you can go over there. Oh, get out of the way. It wasn't there last turn. I'm suspicious. I always think that the game just puts them there. I mean, look, it's not great land that she's got. She needs to improve it a bit. Why she want mine as well? Impact skimship. First naval vessel. System ever been built one 20 years ago. 30 years ago. I can't count. 
have been beaten technologically by the believers. Well, it wasn't just the destination, was it? Uh, maybe we shouldn't have gone so democratic so early. Oh yeah, and if you destroy a mine worm with another mine worm nearby, they kind of join forces and turn into a bigger boil. So he's going to go in there and hide. And you, the one that started it all, get back to work. I wish they'd hurry up. I mean, it's just go to that monolith, everything will be fine after that. Mind worms are eating the forest. No, no. No. <laughs> oh, where do they come from? I don't particularly care. I want them gone. to wealth now. One of the reasons I'm not going into wealth is because it upsets the Spartans. They don't like you going to wealth or knowledge because they're all about power. Value for power. Power values. And uh, it's really bad to go to free market now. Especially since I'm technically at war. And this isn't like one of those Gaian wars where you know nothing much happened. I'm pretty sure they're going to do something. It's not going to be very pleasant. Whenever you're free, feel free to build a defensive unit. Um, yeah, that was a nice, another quick break there. That wasn't 28 hours, that was that was just a few seconds while the uh, other bit of the... Oh! And it enhanced it to an elite status. That's the highest level of... Um, upgrade you can have. So nothing's gonna mess with that. The mind works might try. Um oh gold. Oh, this isn't gonna be pleasant. So I suppose I'm gonna fill in some jargon now about uh, what to say about system area of the believers. Well, yeah, I probably will, and I'll fist in afterwards, so if it seems a bit clunky now, it's because I've gone back and edited this video later. Geez, sometimes I just don't shut up, do I? Anyway, before I go wobbling on like my previous self there, um, there's a talk about the Lord's Believers. Yeah, so this is uh, Sister Miriam Godwinson from the Christian States of America. Or the CSA. I don't know where they got those initials from. Um, the agenda is a life of religious worship, to which should be added uh, from the time of the Crusades. Uh, yes, that's right. She is potentially the most aggressive and disagreeable lady you will meet in Alpha Centauri. Uh, I think that even includes the expansion packs. I have never, and I've played Alpha Centauri a lot, I have never sort of met her and she's been friendly and lovely like like quite a few Christians I know but no it's all just you're a godless heathen and I'm going to wipe you off the face of the earth Um, yeah every time I've met her she's always declared war on me and um, yeah but then again if you look at the stats there's factions designed for that kind of thing particularly early conquests Plus 25% bonus when attacking enemies. From the strength of convictions, but then I, I hold convictions, just not religious ones. Do I not get 25% bonus to attacking enemies? Oh, I don't know. Uh, plus one pro because it's so um, brainwash that other types of brainwashing doesn't don't work. Uh, plus two plus two support. I didn't know that. Uh,